Welcome back, guys. We're carrying on with the monster deck. We're going to see who we face next. Onward! Um, Attack! Hey, Faltest. You shall die, Knox the Fox. I definitely want to try and play every deck, um, but I don't want to play the generics. Um, also, Thunder does not seem great. Um, I have nothing readable right now, but let's hang around in case that changes. That has not changed. And there's something breedable. Um, Ice Giant seems great. Manticore seems pretty good. The only thing I really want to get rid of is Scorch. Okay, I quite like this. <coughs> I think what I might be doing is playing Ancient Foglet out of the gate and then putting Fog down. But then that's not really playing. I suppose he either. <laughs> Finally. He either has clear skies or he doesn't, right? <clears throat> and assuming that he does, he isn't particularly helpful. Wow. Okay. Let's just take the lead anyway. Oh, I really wish I had a ghoul now. Guys! Rude! Well, in that case... I wonder what I should play. Ice Giant seems good. This is one of the cards I drew from a keg. If it's immune to frost effects, it should hold that melee area quite well. Especially seeing as I can play my own. Oh, okay. Play some big, big creatures, big units early on. Probably a massive, massive mistake. These beliefs just seem quite good. Um. Well, what to do at this point, really? Well, the rider it is. I'm getting a pretty big lead on no Noxal Fox. <coughs> Hoping he's not quite able to make it up. Then I drop the cow and pass the turn. Looks like he's thinking about using. Long live, etc., etc. Yeah. Well, let's see about this, shall we? These guys are immune. All of these guys. Are immune to frost effects. I have a frost effect. He can't beat me. Oh, I really wish I had a scorch or something now. My dear scorch would just kill my manticore, so that's not going to do any good at all, is it? I'm happy. I'm going to play the cow. Oh boy, how tiring. Fighting cross it is. And it's done. Surely game's won, right? 
He's got nothing. Yep. Good. No, I'm happy. Right, give me something strong into the next round. Left on the board. Don't be the cow. Good. Clear skies seems okay. Straight away, let's get this Arrakis out. Interesting. We're going to save the clear skies. Um, if we can dominate him in other areas, who has to put more weather effects out, then more the better. I currently have a 22 point. Aye, aye, sir. Gold card. Draw here. Um, Any last words? I think just strictly you can't beat that. He could turn the gold card into a silver card. I can't remember what the name of the card is. But that would make it. it means you could scorch it. The scorch does hurt me quite badly at this point. Don't have Scorch though, right? You don't have Scorch. You're a good buddy, you wouldn't have Scorch. It's such a hard thing to play around. What do you want of me? Wow. That's just a 10 mana swing. 10 mana? It's not a 10 mana swing, it's a 10 point swing. Shall die, 41, what's he got? Weather effects, surely. I have no interest in politics. And finally, because there's nothing else they can do, because of card advantage, I pull ahead by seven, and he has clear skies. That's the game. That was fun, I like that. Monster just seems strong when you start the game. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't just pick Monster, unless they're going to balance it further, which I'd possibly advise. Alright, some more ore. I got the GG. I can craft something new now, which I will do. I'm sure I leveled up, right? I leveled up. A while ago. Oh, it must be bugs. It is closed beta after all. I'm going to do some more crafting uh, between this video and the next, and then I'm going to try playing something else because Monster just seems strong, and there's not a lot of subtlety to it either. There's probably correct ordering, yes, when you know the game a bit better, but learning 200 cards at this point on day one is a little bit beyond me and possibly any other rational human being. Save like high-functioning autistic people? Or just geniuses? Or the Rain Man? High-functioning autistic people. Yeah, either way, thanks a lot for watching. I'm gonna come back and maybe take on Foltest, see what he's like to pilot. Thanks very much.